hello lovelies welcome back today i share this to you that will make you to overfeed yourself so keep watching if you want to see how i made this over here are my preferred proteins i've got cow tongue tribe and horse mackerel first i'll clean the cow tongue and this is how i clean it by adding hot water allow it to sit for three minutes and three minutes later i will peel the skin or the hard part of the cow tongue like this this is a very delicious part of cow meat it takes time to clean but trust me it worth the whole stress at the end another way to clean it is to add cow tongue in a pot and enough water to cover spice with any spices of your choice cook until done next peel off the skin or the hard part before eating as you can see the cow tongue is clean next i'll cut into my desired sizes and set aside Next, I'll cut the tribe as well as the fish. If you are still watching, that means you love this recipe. Please support me by sharing this video. Thank you. Once that is done, I will spice with my preferred spices, seasoning cubes, beef seasoning, thyme, curry powder, salt, and my blended onions, garlic, and ginger. I will rinse my blender with small amounts of water, add to the pot. I will mix to combine, cover, and allow it to cook. While that is cooking, I will wash my peppers really well, take out the seed from the bell peppers, cut the tomatoes and onions into a pot, and parboil it. This method will reduce our frying time. At this time, I check on the proteins. I will remove the fish and allow the cow tongue and the tribe to cook properly. Next, I will check on the pepper mix and there is liquid in there. Next, I will scoop it out and blend until smooth. And here are my ginger and garlic. I'm going to blend it now. Once that is done, I will set it aside. The next step is to fry the fish. In my preheated oil, I will add onions for flavor. Next, I will add the fish and allow it to fry. Once that is done, I will set it aside. The next step is to fry the stew. In the same oil, I will go in with my chopped onions, curry powder, thyme, and I'm going to allow it to fry for a while. Next, I will add two tablespoons of tomato paste. I'm going to mix properly and allow it to fry. Next, I'll add my blended pepper mix. I'll give it a good stir, cover partly and allow it to fry on a medium to low heat. At this time, the stew is properly fried. Next, I'll season with seasoning cubes and beef seasoning. I will mix to combine and I will go in with the proteins as well as the stock. I'm going to stir properly, cover and allow it to cook on a low heat for 6 to 8 minutes. And 8 minutes later we are done. I hope you enjoy watching today's video. Thank you for watching and see you in my next one. Bye.